A government advisory board sounded an alarm today about ovarian cancer. Every year, more than 22,000 women in the U.S. are diagnosed, and because it is often caught too late, more than 14,000 die. Dr. John LaPook has more on this. Today's report found surprising gaps in what we know about ovarian cancer, starting with a basic definition. Even though it's called ovarian cancer, it can start outside the ovary, in the fallopian tubes or the uterus. These are all tumors. Dr. Douglas Levine heads the gynecology research lab at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center and was one of the report authors. It's a collection of many different diseases. The subtypes of ovarian cancer all occur in or around the ovary, but they have very different origins. Why is that important? When you start to figure out the origins, it tells you information that's important about treatment, prevention, and mechanisms of developing cancer. Prevention is key because right now there's no effective way of finding ovarian cancer early. One reason the disease is so deadly. 34-year-old Morgan Melnikoff, mother of three, got genetic testing last fall and learned she was at increased risk. I was not going to gamble with my life, um, especially knowing that they would not be able to catch ovarian cancer in its early stages. So Melnikoff opted for preventive surgery. In her case, that meant removing the ovaries, fallopian tubes, and a full hysterectomy. I had to do it. It's very frustrating as a patient. You can screen for breast cancer. You can screen for colon cancer. Why is ovarian cancer so different? the precursor cells turn into cancer and then spread very quickly. We really have a very limited yeah. window of opportunity to identify the cancer cells. Good, yeah. There are often no symptoms or they're vague. And here's what's alarming, Scott. More than half of women with ovarian cancer do not get the recommended standard of care, which includes evaluation and treatment by an ovarian cancer specialist. Dr. John LaPook, thanks, Doc.